happening here? Okay. Okay, so what are we looking at? First of all, we need to tell we need to tell the Rust compiler that it should allow things that it can like uh, it it believes are quote unquote dead code. And uh, I'll just um, then we have got our module foo with a public function. And we've got a private method. Oh, why is oh yeah, okay. That's oh the formatting is it's a bit confused because I <laughs> we're able so this is kind of demonstrating that you're entire able to call a private method by playing with the pointers. And we're gonna kind of walk through because this is kind of this is like super <laughs> this is kind of super fun, but uh, uh, let, let's dig in. This is definitely not beginner rust. So, like normally, my streams are all about beginner stuff, right? Like, like <laughs> but we're kind of deep in the woods, uh, so let's get lost. Right, right. So the we've got our module it has two members: a public one and a private one. Now, the public one. Is entitled to call private and so what we'd expect if we ignore this unsafe block for now is that we are let's just call foo public and see what happens we want to see our private public function has been called and then the private one has called so that's great now we would like to it turns out by the way that like what is if in private this is actually just a, another type called a function pointer and so we've got this debug macro which can convert or uh, well, let's um get it take it out so that we are this is so cunning it's a really clever trick uh, what the debug we can use take foo foo's private member which is this which is exactly uh, well, and then treat it as a u size, which is a unsigned integer type that happens to have the same size as a pointer. And oh right, I see. And then who public is available. So we just got a comment in the uh, a message in the comment a message in the comment saying that this isn't going to work as is because private is still private so what we could do just while we're waiting so what we want to do is find out what is the offset between public like what's the difference inside public and private so that we can um <clears throat> skip well we, we uh, let's uh so we're, we're finding out the size of public because what we can do is take a reference to public like a pointer then do some pointer arithmetic and get to private ourselves and call that because that's also executable memory. Uh, if this makes no sense to you at all, <laughs> read my book because I talk about uh, <laughs> I talk about the uh, we we actually build a CPU emula emulator and I think about chapter five <laughs> and so uh, we actually implement this stuff in hexadecimal. Uh, and right so let's try and see what happens here okay great we get a cool little comment which says that our expression which is this thing is equal to 64. so if we want to get to the function point of private what we need to do is start a public and then add 64 bytes and then we will get some and we will get to private uh without um without it being private and yeah so um by the way they just got a comment like asking me about point arithmetic and stuff so the intro my book distinguishes itself from the rust programming book uh and just in case you're not 
a Rust programmer. Um, I'll just talk about the, these books um, slightly more specifically. So, um, if so, here's my one. It's easy to find. <laughs> it's easy to find for my. Um, and you'll say that it's, it's been going on for a while. It's taken me a long time to get it out uh, because I've updated it. And um, the data in depth is the chapter where we uh, where we implement. Uh, we talk a lot about we implement a CPU um, down there. So now the book in Rust programming um, is available if I go to dot dot Rust. Actually. Um, uh, uh, read the book <laughs> is like it's an online thing, but actually it's a uh, a print of a book. But anyway, it's the just the, the big difference between the quote unquote official book. The one published by Steve um, and Carol is that the Rust programming language book is kind of topic by topic, very comprehensive, uh, with small little examples. And there's only one big, big project that's right at the end where you get um, to implement a web server. So there's one big project. Whereas in my book, there are multiple big projects in every chapter. <laughs> so it's, it's been really hard to write because projects are ridiculously difficult to uh, get right. Anyway, so that's just the aside. So we're chatting about, um, about this. So, so what we've been able to do, let's kind of go back to kind of like step, uh, step back into what we wanted. What we wanted to do was, by the way, I've got kind of a 10 minute um, call, um, sorry, a 10 minute hard stop. And um, I just realized the time. So <laughs> I've got to wrap this up. So uh, private is declared as private. And uh, we just need to add 64. And that's exactly what happens. We got 64 out of this i just i now i wonder whether or not you can just do that as a variable i wonder if you can just size of public i'm not sure if this will work it might it's such a sneaky idea. It's it's fantastic. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Oh, hello. My daughter has just um has just given me a message. <laughs> Maybe my ten minute call was um <laughs> um was a little bit. Okay, so we can't. So we just need to do this. Okay, so anyway, let's let's compile the code, just with uh, with the flow uh, with the um, uh, with the literal there. So what we want to do is get a function pointer. We want to create a function pointer, which is this syntax from uh, the, like from this u six u size. So this is probably u size, but Rust doesn't actually need to know that. It can figure that one out itself. Private function called! Yay! That 